Welcome to another Bloomberg Terminal video. Uh, today I am recording this from my Mac, and uh, that's why it looks a little bit different. It looks a little low resolution to me. I think it's just um, how the Bloomberg displays on like the Retina display, uh, and also it's running through Citrix Workspace. So um, if anyone is wondering, yes, you can run Bloomberg on a Mac, but you do need to uh, use Bloomberg anywhere. Uh, via Citrix workspace. So I, I my understanding is that it sort of, sort of runs Bloomberg inside of a virtual machine and you get to use it. Uh, it's not my ideal environment for using Bloomberg, but uh, here we are. And of course, if you're on a Windows machine, it runs natively. So the topic of today's video is the cryptocurrency monitor built into Bloomberg Professional. And I just want to temper your expectations by saying that this is not um, breakthrough. It is not um, super, super interesting, but I know some people were interested in seeing how cryptocurrency is integrated into the terminal. And I think the short answer is that it is to a very small extent. Um, I found that the integration is sort of limited to quotations, um, but that's my own impression. I don't know if there are deeper functions. I haven't seen them, but if someone else has, please feel free to chime in and educate me. Um, I'm not in the cryptocurrency space, but again, I know some people were interested in seeing how it's integrated in here. And frankly, cryptocurrencies are integrated the same way FX currencies are. And you can grab live quotations, you can read news, and you can chart. So without further ado, let's just get into this, and uh, this is going to be very, very quick. Uh, we can access the cryptocurrency monitor by going to CRYP, first four letters of the cryptocurrency word, if you haven't caught on by now. And um, what you get is this basic screen here, right? So if you're trading cryptocurrency for a hedge fund, uh, this is probably what you're going to be looking at. And uh, it's nine o'clock right now, so that's the live price for Bitcoin right now 58,980, 81, 76, 75, 78, 81, 82. It is changing enough to make you puke up your lunch. And um, so, what you get is the majors so you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP. Uh, frankly, I don't hear a lot about these um, apart from Bitcoin and Ethereum, so. I'm sure they're pretty popular, but um, I don't know enough about it to make any informed statements. Um, but here we are. So you get your live quotations, you get the net change, percent change, bid ask, spread, and uh, you can sort of click to get a chart. And then, of course, you have your 30-day range. So first thing you'll notice here is the BGCI Bloomberg Galaxy. So if I click on that, tells us that the BGCI is designed to measure the performance of the largest cryptocurrencies traded in US dollars. And it'll give you sort of a um, little table here with periods and uh, percent changes. And let me just click on return analysis, see what that uh, shows us here. Based on the index, okay. And we will go back here because what I want to do is I want to load in Bloomberg as a security into the terminal. And the way that you do that is really just by clicking on it and you'll see it gets loaded right in at the top. We're now we're now displaying the Bitcoin currency. We now have a live quotation, which is now 59,000, 11, 12, 14, 11, and so forth, you catch on, right? And so you have all these different quotes coming from different exchanges here. I know that Coinbase is like one of the popular ones, bit stamp, crack in, and you can see just how the price varies between these different exchanges. So I'm sure some arbitrageurs out there are um, definitely taking advantage of the discrepancies in price between exchanges. I don't know how profitable that is. I don't really know what the liquidity space is like. I mean, I'm looking at Bitflyer here and we're seeing a volume of only 30, 385, 399, uh, whole bitcoins i'm assuming so uh, interesting nonetheless but they're all pretty constant uh 2.2 uh, percent so bitcoin is is trading up today and uh today is the 17th of march for reference so if you're watching this uh, at the end of march bitcoin can be either much higher or much lower so now that i have bitcoin loaded as a currency 
uh, or as a security in the Bloomberg terminal, um, the functions uh, that are available for equities and other FX uh, currencies are available to us. And what I mean by that is, for instance, if I want to pull up a line chart, GP, I can either click this or I can type in GP into the uh, command bar here. So I'll do GP. And that show us, shows us a very simple uh, line chart. And you can see that we're looking at a one-year view here. We can expand that to show five years. And then we can expand, uh, sort of contract that to show one day. Uh, this is not my preferred way of looking at charts. So what I like to do is uh, GPC, which is a simple candle chart. And you can see it uh, defaults to the one-year view. And each candle here represents a day. Now, Bitcoin trades 24 by 7, so um, each candle represents a full day of trading. And if you hover over each candle, it'll give you the open, high, low, and close prices. What I find interesting is sort of how the uh, cryptocurrencies move uh, during the day. And so for that, I will put it on the one-day view. And each candle now represents one minute. click on key events and see what comes up here. I don't think it's going to show. Um, I think that's more for equity securities and so forth that have earnings and, and whatnot. Let's go back to Crip. Now, I'm not going to click through the different currencies because um, it's basically all the same thing. Uh, and what I mean by that is in terms of functionality, of course, they're not, they're not the same thing. Um, but the functions are the same. And then, of course, you have the CME futures. And if I click on that, you'll see we get some basic information. That is an interesting ticker. I thought that was a curse word for a minute. Let's go back. And then, of course, you have cryptocurrency news, right? So if you click on that, uh, Bloomberg, which... Uh, is very good with news, will sort um, all cr digital currency and cryptocurrency related news into one specific feed. So for example, if you're a, a, bit, a Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency specialist at a hedge fund or whatever, you would likely have either a launch pad window or an entire uh, monitor devoted to the latest news. And you can see that this news flows pretty consistently every few minutes. And... Um, just reading through some of this stuff is actually kind of interesting because I don't get a chance to look at it uh, very often. Uh, Morgan Stanley to offer rich clients access to Bitcoin funds. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is it. I think sort of personal commentary here. I think in the financial industry, you have a lot of people who are still of the mindset that uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are... Um, I hate to say it, but a little bit of a scam, or they think that you know it's so volatile it could never be used as a currency. I've I've heard um, all sorts of reasons why Bitcoin is is destined to fail. Um, I think for me, I don't have an opinion either way. I like to listen to both sides of the arguments. I like to um, I like to read reports on why people think Bitcoin is the you know the the future of currency and I also like to read reports on why Bitcoin is you know not not that so um, really this is the extent of what you get in terms of cryptocurrency integration in the Bloomberg terminal right and that's sort of reflective of the industry as a whole I mean it, it hasn't been widely embraced yet but the interest is coming in and I think as time progresses um, Bloomberg clients will begin to demand more uh, cryptocurrency related functionality and and to be fair I don't know exactly what that is uh, but I think you should um, watch this space and you know if you're watching this one or two years from uh, March 17th 2021 uh, I think you might find a whole lot more built into the terminal by that point in time especially at the rate uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a whole is is, is being sort of accepted and, and looked into by various financial firms. So um, 
I know that wasn't particularly exciting, but I hope it at least answers some questions about you know, how Bitcoin is displayed or how cryptos are displayed in Bloomberg Terminal. This is the extent of it. And um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And also, I would really appreciate some suggestions in the comments for future topics that you want to see covered on the Bloomberg Terminal. I think also what I'm going to do is probably um, do some videos outside of the Bloomberg Terminal environment as well, because there's a lot to see, you know, in terms of uh, financial modeling in Excel and sort of using resources that are not Bloomberg. And I always mention this in videos, and that is that, you know, if you're uh, a retail trader, you don't need Bloomberg. It is complete overkill. Uh, you're not missing out on a whole lot, right? So Bloomberg is a, is a tool for people who are in the industry, um, people who also study finance or whatever the case is, uh, work in corporate treasury, whatever. So it's a tool, and um, it, it's completely not necessary because a lot of the information that you, you get here, like this news, is on the Bloomberg homepage. Uh, filings, of course, and, and financial data are available on the SEC website, right? So this, this is all integrated in one specific platform. It's easy to find. It's easy to navigate. But at the end of the day, all the information is available to you elsewhere. Okay, we're going to wrap it up there because I've been running for over 11 minutes. And um, again, let me know what other topics you want me to cover. And until the next video, hope you stay safe, stay well, stay healthy.